Developing tonight, we continue to dig for answers surrounding a case in Tarpon Springs after FBI agents swarmed this home on Lincoln Avenue. 10 Tampa Bay Shannon Clo has been out there all day searching for answers on the situation that put the neighborhood on alert. Well, I can confirm dozens of FBI agents were at that Tarpon Springs home and we only know from FBI agents that they were conducting court authorized activity. So what I did tonight is I looked into online records to see who owns the house. Here along Lincoln Avenue near Stafford Avenue in Tarpon Springs, this home is where FBI agents were in and out of today. You can see earlier they were carrying binders and boxes outside of the house. We talked to one neighbor who saw law enforcement show up early this morning. All I know is six o'clock this morning they was out here acting stupid. That's all I know. Neighbors didn't know why and the FBI will only say they are conducting court authorized activity. I looked into this home's records. 711 Lincoln Avenue is owned by a man named Curtis Sanders. He's owned the house for 22 years. That same name and address is linked to a Pasco County arrest, one that was dropped by the court, but it accused Curtis Sanders of solicitation to commit murder. In the report, it states Curtis Sanders met with a man who was a confidential informant. The police report said Sanders told a man he needed to, quote, take care of a person by the name of Stephen Fullman. The report details Sanders wanted Fullman dead. The charges ended up getting dropped. And the FBI won't tell us specifically what they were doing at Sanders house, but I can tell you they have since left. Now we're going to continue asking authorities questions in hopes to get you answers. I'm in Tarpon Springs, Shannon Clough, 10 Tampa Bay.